All right, your sock shows you the quality of the sludge. And some sludge have great quality and some is just really bad. This one has great quality because it's just a little bit of loose uh, sludge in the bottom with a clean sock so we don't have much in there. But that sludge could be anywhere from here to here. On most tanks, if the sludge comes above this sock and it's thick and gooey and smelly, then you need to either add a lot more tank tex, RX for septic systems, or pump the tank. But as we have it marked, we have our marks on the pipe, and I'll show you how to do that. Here is the top mark, where the top lid, so there's the top of the tank, and we measured first the scum level. So the scum level, and this is imaginary because it wasn't there, but you would be able to see that until the scum level here is three inches. Then I check for the clear water level, which is between the three and the two mark, and that's 22 inches. And then I check the sludge level, which would correspond to the sock at the bottom, and that's between the three and the four, and that's 22 inches also. So we are going to be 22, and this 22 is 44 inches out of a tank that is how deep? Well. We know that's the bottom stick down there. So I measure from the bottom of the tank up to my number one was the sludge level. So it is 62 inches. So my tank is 62 inches deep. So I'll, for a 30% combination, that would be what? 31 inches. If I had a combination of 31 inches of sludge, then I would have 50%. It's time to add more tanks to XRX or to add um, or to have it pumped. The difference is going to be when you look at this and you're at 50%, if it's a real light sludge and it's not stucking all over the tank, uh, the, the uh, sock, then you can add the tank techs and take care of it and check it again in six months. If it's a real heavy sludge, it might be cheaper to just go ahead and pump it and then put a liter of tank techs afterwards.